Hello everyone, in this episode of Angular Screencast I will tell you about Angular Elements. And what is Angular Element? So basically Angular Elements is just Angular component that is wrapped into custom element. So we can work with Angular component like custom element or just regular DOM element. Outside of Angular scope and with pure JavaScript. I will not go deep in theory, you can read on on official website. I would like to focus more on practical side and create this Angular element. First of all, we need our toolset. And with command of ng add, we can add our toolset. So command ng add edits needs dependencies and some changes into configuration. And now we can go to source code. Angular module, so we don't need our core component, app component anymore. I'm removing it from here. So no bootstrap anymore as well. And we remove the whole file. And now we need to create new components. Let's say um, hello component with help of ng generate component. Comment, we create a new component. This component is here. And now we need to wrap it into custom element. We can do it with help of special method that we will import in from our package that was installed in your elements. And the method is create custom element. We will do it inside module constructor. Create custom element and we put here like first parameter, hello component. And second parameter is configuration where you need to specify which injector do you want to use. And we can use just injector of this module. And this method will return hello element. So we provided hello component and we got hello element. So it's class that is already prepared to be registered like custom element. To register custom element we use native DOM method custom elements defined. Now we only need to specify the name. Let's call it app hello. You need to put dash here because standard says so. Without dash, you cannot register custom elements. Let's run our application. Oh, no, wait. One more thing. Instead of our root component, we put our custom element. And we can run and serve. So it's compiled. Let's check. We see output works. Hello. But we have a strange error that there is no bootstrap. And that's correct because we remove bootstrapping of component. We still need to have some empty bootstrap. We can register it in our app module with just empty ng dupe bootstrap method. And now error is gone. Okay, so we let's basically to create custom element. And now you can work with just pure JavaScript. So you can get this element And what could you could you do with this element? Input and output parameters will work perfectly. So let's start with input. We want to provide name here and output it into our greetings. 
And now the same like for Angular components, for Angular elements, for custom elements, you provide it within attribute. Now you can use now, now you can use even several elements and provide different names. And you see, you see, I just saying hello for all of them. And this pure JavaScript, you can change it. You can change the attribute. You can change name attribute from John let's say to Jack and now we have Jack here um, go next to output we can do output as well let's create our custom event from click let's call it clicked for clicked we need event emitter and here for each click we will emit our event and also provide for example name back to our pure javascript you know how to handle events in javascript right and event listener name of our custom event clicked we are getting event here we can just output event or even event detail. In event detail, we have this name parameter. So when I click, I'm getting Jack. That was expected. Also, we can play with content we provide inside our Angular elements. With help of ng content, we can also put it here. And of course, again, with pure JavaScript, we can change inner HTML of the element, and it will affect our Angular component. So you have nothing here. As a resume, you could create a lot of different Angular elements that you could use outside of Angular, somewhere with your CMS system, or provide to other developers, like complete isolated widget.